Hey there, Nicholas from Growth Marketer here. And in this short video, I'm gonna take you through a very quick tour of Active Campaign. I'll answer some important questions about the platform. I'll show you the pricing structure, and then I'll take you behind the scenes to look into one of my accounts and I'll show you some of the major features. So if you're excited to learn about Active Campaign in a hurry, let's get started. Okay, so what is Active Campaign? Well, it's a marketing automation platform, although they refer to themselves as a customer experience automation platform. It's just an interesting way for them to find a, a different way of branding the platform versus just saying it's another marketing automation platform. But at its core, marketing automation is built around email marketing. However, you can do a lot more than just send emails through the platform. So you can also send SMS messages, and then there's a whole bunch of integrations with third-party apps. So you can use webhooks, you can use Zapier integrations, and you can use a whole bunch of native integrations to connect to and send and receive data from many different sources. And this is going to create an opportunity for you to, like they say, automate the entire customer experience for your business. Now, Active Campaign's been around for a while. They were founded in 2003, but they didn't really start taking off till like 2015, 2016. And that's when everything started shifting in the entire industry towards marketing automation. Because prior to that, uh, people had been using email marketing as sort of a one-to-many messaging channel where you could send out these email blasts using something like MailChimp or AWeber. But then around 2015, 2016, people really started catching on to this idea of let's segment our list, let's use automated sequences, let's personalize our messages depending on who's opening, who's not opening, who someone is, what they're interested in, and a whole bunch of different factors to create a more personalized customer experience. And that's what really led to the growth of Active Campaign. And now they have over 150,000 customers. And if you look over at G2, which is a great uh, site for comparing marketing software, you could see that for marketing automation, they're actually up there with HubSpot as really one of two of the leaders in this space. And it's a very crowded space. You can see Marketo over here. Here's Pardot from Salesforce. There's Klaviyo or Clavio. There's MailChimp. There's GetResponse. There's Keep, which was formerly known as Infusionsoft. So these are the sort of the leaders of the pack. And you can see ActiveCampaign and HubSpot are up there. And in my opinion, for the reasons I'm gonna show you shortly, ActiveCampaign really is the best marketing automation platform on the market. I've been using the platform since 2015. I was in the original cohort of ActiveCampaign certified consultants when that program launched in 2016. And I've been a certified consultant ever since then. So I've been able to work with this platform for many years now, and it just keeps getting better. So with that being said, let's look at some of the features and why you would use this platform. And also, I'll, I'll be honest, and I'll tell you why you shouldn't use it in some very limited use cases. So the platform is made up of a bunch of different core services. Uh, the main one being email. They also have a landing page tool that launched recently, and it's actually very robust, and they're continuing to improve it. They also have some SMS messaging capabilities, although they are limited, I will tell you that. Then they have a live chat or a messaging feature, which is called conversations. And then there's a limited number of social media integrations. Probably the most important is a Facebook custom audience integration. So you can add and remove people automatically to Facebook custom audiences. And then they have some web personalization if you want to personalize a web page based on the information that you have in a contact record in Active Campaign, you can do that as well. So those are some of the main features here. Of course, email is where everything is based around. To create a contact record in Active Campaign, you have to have an email address. So that's going to be sort of that record that everything else is built around. Now, another huge part of Active Campaign is the CRM. They have a full CRM that's built in. And what's really cool about this is that uh, something that actually led me to this platform versus some of the other tools out there is that you can use it as your CRM and you can also use it as your marketing automation platform. So prior to that, there was a lot of tools out there like Pipedrive, for instance, that's a great CRM, but they don't have the email marketing capabilities. So in this case, you can integrate everything and HubSpot also does a good job in this area where you have your CRM and you have your marketing or your email automation tools all built in one place and that's gonna help you keep the data in one place and it's gonna make it easier to send and uh, communicate with your customers, with your prospects, with your entire audience. Okay, let's look at pricing real quick. So you can get started for as little as $9 a month, which is what I love about this platform. There's other tools out there that have a freemium model, but it's a little bit misleading because you get in there for free 
and you realize that it's actually extremely limited. And when you start to uh, pay for the platform, it gets really expensive for some of these other competitors in this space. But what I like about Active Campaign is that you can start for $9 a month, you get 500 contacts on the light plan, which is actually a pretty robust plan if you just need the email marketing and the marketing automation features. And then you can scale up as you grow. So for instance, for me, I'm using the plus plan. That's $49 a month if you had 500 contacts. But you can see as you scroll up, like if you have, let's say 5,000 contacts, you would either be paying about $79 a month on the light plan or 135 a month on the plus plan. And this is yearly where you're gonna save a little bit more money by paying yearly. You also have the option of paying monthly, which you can see it's a little bit more money there. So what I always recommend doing is start with the light plan if that's all you really need. If you're just looking to evaluate the platform for the email marketing and marketing automation features and you don't really need the CRM, because that's the major difference between light and plus is plus is gonna give you the CRM and some of these other features like SMS marketing, the Facebook custom audiences tool that I talked about. But if you don't need those features right away, and remember you could always upgrade later, I would just start with light. I would recommend starting monthly just so you can sort of test it out and you're not gonna be locked into paying for the full year and just start with the number of contacts you need to import. So if you're starting from scratch, obviously you could start with 500 contacts, but this is gonna depend on the size of the list that you're bringing to Active Campaign. Okay, so we covered some of the basics, we covered some of the pricing. Let's jump into my test account and I'll just show you around. Now this is a, a very empty account, but I just wanted to show you some of the different ways that the, uh, the features are set up. So this is gonna be your main dashboard. This is where you're gonna see activity. So for instance, you'll see who's unsubscribing, who's clicking, who's opening your emails, all that type of thing will be here on the right sidebar. And then in the middle, you can actually move these things around. Personally, I don't find this that helpful because really you're, you're gonna come in here and you're gonna know what you need to do, whether it is to modify a contact record, create an automation, update a deal, check your conversations, uh, do something with your list, do something in settings. So in my opinion, you're not gonna spend this much time on the homepage. So I wouldn't say that this is one of the most important features. Now on the sidebar here, you're gonna see some of the more important things or actions that you're going to be engaging with. Now, here we are inside a contact record. This is a record I just added real quick. And so it doesn't have any activity to it, but you're going to see that there's a lot that you can add to it. There's a whole bunch of default fields and then you can add custom fields as well. And then tags are very, very important. When you get into Active Campaign, you're gonna quickly realize that to do what you need to do, you really need to have a good strategy for how you wanna tag your contacts. Because unlike the old platforms where you mostly worked around lists and you'd have a whole bunch of different lists, now it's better to have fewer lists and really let tags be the way that you segment and automate your sending of emails and other messages. So tags are very, very important. I have a whole uh, taxonomy that I recommend when dealing with tags. And so I will certainly share that in a future video. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you wanna get that video when it comes out. Uh, but this is basically the contact record. Next up you have campaigns. These are those one-time campaigns that you could send such as a newsletter. That's where you would set it up and you have a built-in email editor inactive campaign, it's pretty robust. I wouldn't say it's the best email editor, but you also have the option of creating fully custom HTML emails if you wanna do that, or if you wanna hire someone to create a custom HTML email, you can do that as well. Then you have automations. Automations are super powerful, and this is one of the things that sets a marketing automation platform apart from just like a regular email marketing platform. So with automations, you can pretty much automate anything. If someone opens an email, I can tag them a certain way, I can send them a follow-up message, if someone gets added to a list, I can put them through a welcome series. If someone unsubscribes, I can tag them a certain way. There's so many different things. It's pretty much limitless. Then you have deals. And again, this is only if you're going to be on one of those higher tier plans where you're going to be using this as sort of a pipeline to replace something like pipe drive where you need to see different deals and you need to see different uh, stages. So you know who is a prospect, uh, who you've pitched or presented an offer to, and then uh, you can move them through. You basically just drag them through these different pipelines, and this is fully customizable. Next up is conversations. This is the new live chat and messaging widget that you can add to your website. I actually use it on our agency website, so if you wanna take a look at it, this is what it looks like. It's fully customizable, but it's pretty good. I would say it's not the best live chat and 
messaging platform out there, but it serves its purpose. Now, keep in mind, this does come at an additional cost to whatever you're paying for active campaign. Then you have lists. That's where you're going to have your main email lists. And again, I recommend keeping your lists at a minimum. Try not to overdo it with lists. Like for most clients, I think you can get away with having a customer list, a prospect list, and maybe a newsletter list. You really don't need much more than that. Then over here on the site tab, this is where you're gonna find access for pages. And this is available on some of the plans and it's a very full featured and robust landing page builder. Then finally, in the reporting tab, there's a whole bunch of different reports that you could run. I won't go into too much detail because that could be a whole nother video, but just know that there's a whole bunch of different ways you can chop up and organize the data from everything you're doing to get a picture of what is working for you with Active Campaign. So there you have it. That's a quick tour of the Active Campaign dashboard. One other thing I want to cover before we go is integrations. Because one thing that I really like about Active Campaign is while they have a lot of features, they don't try to do everything. And they actually do this intentionally. They would rather help you connect to the tools you're already using than try to mimic every single tool out there. And there, so there are platforms out there that try to be an all-in-one, but they end up being a jack of all trades, master of none. In this case, Active Campaign focuses on what it's good at, which is email and landing pages and messaging and some of those other core features, maybe the, the CRM, we could include that in there. But then for all these other features, what they do is they have this amazing library of integrations. There's over 850 apps that you can connect to. They also work with Zapier. And so you can connect to these other tools that you're already using, let's say Calendly, for instance, or any other type of scheduling tool. And then that's gonna work pretty seamlessly with Active Campaign once you set it up. So that's another thing I really love about Active Campaign is the integrations. Now, like I said in the beginning, there's a few use cases that I would say are not ideal for Active Campaign. One that I think stands out more than anything else is e-commerce. Now, I know Active Campaign is actively trying to bring on more e-commerce clients, but in my personal opinion, I think that there are better platforms out there if you are an e-commerce business where you have something like a Shopify store. Klaviyo is pretty much the market leader when it comes to a marketing automation platform for e-commerce. So for that use case, e-commerce, in my personal opinion, I think you're probably better off going with something like Klaviyo. But for everything else out there, if you're running any type of service business, SaaS business, or pretty much anything other than that situation where you have just an e-commerce business, I think ActiveCampaign is an amazing platform and it is getting a lot better with e-commerce. So my opinion there may change in the future. So that's where I'm going to leave this video at. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them as best I can. And I hope you give the platform a try. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to hit that like button if you found this helpful and also subscribe to my channel so that you'll get more marketing tips in the future. Take care.